friends, and welcome back to the Red Cup Review. It has been a long time, and I know I've been away for a while. As a matter of fact, it's been roughly around... It's been 84 years. Around two and a half months, actually, since we've did any videos on this channel. This is bullshit! But we are back, hopefully, in full swing to bring you some awesome reviews of not just the collectibles that I have on the table coming here, but a few coming soon. We'll mention that a little later on. Anyways, this is the winter 2021, January, February. These are the collectible hauls. Been away for a while, doing some family stuff, some stuff at work. But I want to show you guys what I got. It's a, it's probably my biggest haul I've ever had because I've been away, literally away, and now I'm back. And this is the new setup here, so we're going to take a closer look at some of the stuff going on behind me too. As you can see, there's some Maju cases and a little bit different of a setup going on around here. But enough of me babbling. Let's get on to the collectibles. We're going to be taking a look at the Green, Green Lantern Tweeterhead 1-6 scale exclusive edition. Best Green Lantern statue I've ever seen. But I say that all the time with everything. Now, this is really a really dynamite dope Green Lantern statue. Okay, uh, the Hasbro Dungeons & Dragons Dritz Jordan figure. Absolutely love the fact that we have a Marvel Legends-esque style Dungeons & Dragons stuff from the Forgotten Realms coming. Old school D&D guy, used to play it back in the day. Still wish I could play it, wish I had the time, that is. So we got that. We have the Mezco 112 Collective Christopher Reeve Superman, which is an awesome figure. Don't listen to the haters. Look, if the figure came with a couple of things that are wrong with it, like the cape and stuff like that, what are you going to do? The figure's awesome. If you could find it, that is. I know it's like pretty much sold out anywhere, followed by the Two-Face. This thing's kind of sold out, too. This was a pain in the ass for me to pick up because my uh, uh, diamond has been giving me a little bit of an issue getting the stuff in. However, uh, I got it, so there's that. Also, we have a new company, WinC, did this, um, like, deluxe kit bashes, so to speak, of Freddie Mercury, right? One in his Live 8 outfit, as you can see here, and the other one was from his performance at Wembley Stadium, I believe. So I went with the Live 8 outfit. I think it's great. I would, I love the idea of getting rock icons in my collection. So my collection is going to be taking a little bit of a left turn, so to speak, because I got the Jimi Hendrix Blitzway coming in. Hopefully Iconic Studios will be giving us that Elvis soon enough, so I'll be able to flesh out some of my musical faves, so to speak, and hopefully you will too. This is a great thing if you can get your hands on it. I think they're reissuing it because the first um, the first wave sold out. Anyways, we also have the Legends in 3D half-scale bus from Diamond Select and Gentle Giant Harley Quinn statue. You know how much I'm over the moon for these. This is a great-looking statue, as is the Batman and Joker, as you can see kind of behind me up in the back there. Uh, they're all great. This one's great, too. And a G.I. Joe classified Cobra Infantry Trooper. I believe that's Cobra Infantry over there on the end. This was my haul over the winter. We have more stuff coming, like the Gandalf from Asmus Toys. Hopefully that'll be in the next week. The Blitzway Bill and Ted. I know there's a few reviews of this stuff out there already, but I gotta wait for my guy to get it in in order for me to bring it to you. So without further ado, closer look up on these figures, and then we're gonna take a closer look at what's going on behind me with the module cases that I finally Finally, we're able to get a... Since these are their sixth scale series, and I don't currently have the lights hooked up in there yet, so this is them without lights, obviously. And they're just much more better, and even though more expensive than T-Tops, much more streamlined, classier looking. So I definitely strongly suggest getting these, but they're a huge pain in the neck to put together, and they take forever to come. So if you want them, get your orders in now. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Look, it's 4.30 in the morning, I've been at this for three hours, and I'm completely exhausted, right? But I'm supposed to do some kind of public service announcement, I guess, everyone else does this, about how you should subscribe and like, and drop a comment and all that good stuff. Look, that, that shit gets old quick. If you're looking for an action figure review channel that doesn't pull any punches or bends the knee to any corporate sponsors, this is the place for you. And uh, if we do do that, we'll just tell you ahead of time, all right? Well, at least we'll give you the heads up. All right, that I'll promise you. Maybe we'll catch you on a future episode, all right? Take it easy out there, YouTubers, and uh, we'll see you soon.